In a record-breaking discovery, Webb may have identified the most distant galaxies ever observed, dating back to a mere 200 million years after the universe began. These ancient galaxies are rewriting the story of cosmic evolution and challenging everything we thought we knew about the early universe. In this video, we'll understand how these galaxies were discovered, the cutting-edge science and technology behind the Webb observations, and compare it with other distant galaxies Webb discovered. So without further ado, let's get started. Webb has made a monumental leap in astronomy by identifying five galaxy candidates that could date back to just 200 million years after the Big Bang. This is astonishing because it brings us closer than ever to witnessing the very beginnings of the universe. Prior to this, the earliest known galaxy, JADESGSZ140, was observed at about 280 million years post Big Bang. The galaxies identified in this discovery have redshift values ranging from Z equals 16 to Z equals 18, making them some of the oldest and most distant objects we've ever detected. Now, let's talk about redshift. It's a key concept here. Redshift measures how much the wavelength of light has been stretched as the universe expands. The higher the redshift, the farther away the galaxy is which means we're looking deeper into the past to see how it appeared billions of years ago. According to our current galaxy models, it should take hundreds of millions of years for galaxies to form and evolve. However, the brightness and maturity of these galaxies suggest they formed much faster than expected. As Dr. Hakim Atek from the Paris Institute of Astrophysics stated, we are approaching the first generation of galaxies because we are left with only around 150 million years to form these galaxies. The evidence comes from the GLIMPS project, which uses some of the deepest observations ever obtained by Webb. By capturing the faint light from these distant galaxies, scientists are gaining very important insights about the early universe. This means we're not just pushing the boundaries of technology, but also of our understanding of cosmic evolution. These early galaxies also provide a glimpse into the reionization era, a period when the first stars and galaxies ionize the intergalactic medium, making the universe transparent to light. This era is like the universe's coming of age, and studying it can reveal how the first structures in the cosmos came to be. You might be wondering how the web managed to spot galaxies so incredibly distant and faint. The answer lies in a phenomenon called gravitational lensing. This effect, predicted by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, occurs when a massive object like a galaxy cluster bends the fabric of space-time, causing the light from objects behind it to be magnified and distorted. In this case, Webb utilized the massive Abel S-1063 galaxy cluster as a natural cosmic lens. This cluster's immense gravitational field magnifies and brightens the light from the galaxies behind it, making them visible to us. Dr. Vasily Kokarev from the University of Texas highlighted the importance of this method, saying, Gravitational lensing has allowed us to find so many galaxies at high redshifts in the same field. However, this method has its challenges. It relies heavily on the alignment of massive foreground objects with the distant background galaxies. Additionally, the lensing effect can distort the images of these galaxies, making it more difficult to analyze their true structures and properties. Despite these challenges, the method is crucial because it extends our observational capabilities. It allows us to study the early universe in ways we couldn't before, opening up new avenues for discovery and understanding. Let's talk more about JD's GSZ 14.0, the galaxy observed at a redshift of Z equals 14.2, dating back to around 280 million years after the Big Bang. Similar to the recent findings, this galaxy exhibited properties that suggest rapid formation and high luminosity, challenging the conventional understanding of how galaxies grow. 
it was discovered by the JWS T Advanced Deep Extra Galactic Survey, a program designed to uncover the secrets of the early universe. What makes this galaxy special is its extreme luminosity, which indicates that it formed stars at an unusually rapid pace. Such efficiency in star formation raises questions about the processes driving early galaxy evolution, suggesting that conditions in the early universe may have been more favorable for galaxy growth than previously thought. Alongside this discovery, Webb has identified other bright galaxies at redshifts between Z equals 10 and ZU equals 13, revealing an unexpected abundance of early galaxies forming stars at accelerated rates. Another significant discovery by Webb is CEERS 93316, a galaxy observed as it appeared around 235 million years after the Big Bang. Detected during the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science -E program, this galaxy holds a redshift value of Z equals 16.4, making it one of the oldest known galaxies. This galaxy revealed an abundance of stars forming at a rate far greater than expected for galaxies this early in cosmic history. Its brightness is evidence of intense starburst activity, showing that even in the universe's infancy, conditions were uniquely suited for rapid star formation. These discoveries emphasize how galaxies in the early universe could grow and evolve at astonishing rates, painting a picture of a far more dynamic and fast-paced cosmic environment than previously imagined. Looking ahead, there's hope on the horizon with upcoming projects like the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope and the Extremely Large Telescope (ELT). These instruments are expected to provide complementary data to Webb's findings, enhancing spectroscopic follow-ups, confirming redshift values, and probing deeper into the faintest light sources. As Dr. Kokorev mentioned, future projects will enhance our ability to detect even earlier and fainter galaxies, although these would be extremely hard to detect. Thank you for watching. If you found this exploration into the early universe fascinating, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cosmic insights. Until next time, keep looking up at the stars. They have so much to tell us.